Well, hello there, everybody. It's good to see you. It's a beautiful, sunny, again, windy day. We can't get away from the wind. I hope that means something good. Um, I think there's some usually ominous <laughs> meanings behind wind. So anyway, there can be good things too. And in the Tri-Cities, you might as well just resign yourself to the fact that it's going to be windy. So uh, find something good in it. Get used to it because it's going to be here. It probably will be here through the end of April. And a few years ago, it was here to the end of June because I kept track of it. So anyway, um, he, Jeff is home. He t alerted me to the fact that our cat alarms are going off all the time. And that didn't surprise me because it is windy. So you know what? I saw a cat in the yard. And so, hi, Jewel. I am leaving that alarm on. I don't care if it's going off all the time or not. After I hear it a lot, then it will irritate me enough that I will shut it off. I, well, I've got five of them out there. So it's no wonder they're going off. They are working good, I do have to say. The going to the battery operated ones um, should have done that a long time ago because the I out of all the solar ones that I've gotten, which have it's been I'm ashamed to admit probably twenty over the last I don't know how many years. Um, oh my sound! I bet. Let me check. Ah, there my sound is up. I think. Let me see. Yes, I think my. You might not have been able to hear me a minute ago, which is probably fine. I've just been yammering about the wind and cats in the yard, and <laughs> good to see you, Jewel. My sound was down, so now I think it's up. And um, Jewel, it maybe you could just give me a thumbs up or some signal so that I know my sound is up because I had it messed up. Hi, Linda. It's nice to see you. So I go. Hope you guys are holding up. I went out and got my almond, my sugar-free almond flavoring for our tea and coffee. So I'm all set. <laughs> all right, good. Giving me a hands up, heads up, or hands up, thumbs up. There we go, thumbs, 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 thumbs. And anyhow, we are going to do Easter promise today. What a, um, a very uh, appropriate um, stamp set to do for a day like today. My voice, if I sound like a man, it's just because I still have the remnants of this cold. At least I never really got a cough with it. Jeff's still coughing with it, but he, I'm sure, will be fine. I hope he is because we're going to, in a in a few days, we're going to go down and see some, see our grandkids and our, our son and his wife. And, and we don't want to get them sick. Definitely don't want to get them sick. And we do just have colds, but still, right now, it's kind of scary. Anytime you hear somebody sneeze or cough, you're worried. So don't want to worry anyone. So if I sound like a man, it just means I'm getting better. <laughs> and actually, I don't have a sore throat, no cough. It's doing good. So, tr oh, th good, tr Trudy. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for sharing. So I almost forgot since you shared that remind me. Make sure you guys are doing that. And I will do the drawing. I am ready. Um, it's uh, this is the kind this is the season where it, it's kind of a hit and miss to see these videos. I understand that. And it's nice weather. You want to be outside. And, um, and even if we're all stuck at home, we still have a lot of things to do at home. So you might be here after I'm done and I understand that completely. So anyhow, I'm gonna, gonna draw and we'll see who won our drawing. And it is Freddie, Freddie, uh, congratulations. Now, Freddie, this is good news for you because Freddie is probably not feeling all that great right now. So hopefully she is doing much, much better and my glasses are pretty dirty. I might have to clean them as we go. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera. Um, we are actually going to use, um, well, I'll show you the card after I put it, the camera down. So just as a warning that I'm moving things about and hopefully my camera doesn't get too annoyed by all of that. I still don't really get my orientation sometimes all that well because I have to put it backwards to do this to get 
it right. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess if I understood, because my lens is on the other side is why. I do understand. It's just a matter of, I, I still, I'm always thinking I'm oriented differently than I am. So when I look at the camera, I think, well, that's not where I thought I was. So we are going to do Easter Promise first. I'm hoping to get to a couple of things today because I'm I actually planned originally, and we are going to get to this wish for it all. You're going to want to see some of that stuff. So, but I did really want to, when I got the ornate dot borders and frames, I got the ornate suite that's going to be, be available in April. Um, and it's available now for us demonstrators. It comes with all these dies and they're really nice ones. So <clears throat> you're going to, oh, that's the old ones that came. This is ornate frames. That was with the Halloween set. <clears throat> a lot, you know, last, last, uh, Christmas season, the Halloween set <clears throat> kind of matches the, 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 uh, you know, just this filigree kind of thing. It's, it's similar. It doesn't really match. It's just similar, but I like, I still use these ornate frames a lot. They're the perfect size, but the ornate layers that came with the, um, sweet set are really nice. You're going to love those. They're stitched. They have scallops. They have this really cool filigree thing all over it. And so I'm using that. And I really like for the um, ornate border dies, they've got a um, nice floral thing that goes on the side. But this is the one we're going to use today. It's um, the perfect length for your four and a quarter by um, 11 inch <clears throat> oriented card or on the bottom. You know, if you were doing a five and a half by eight and a half, it could go on the bottom. And um, so that's what we're doing here for this. And that's all I'm doing is just cutting that out. Um, and then to make that inner uh, inner part, you know, help the flower stand out there, I just put some Purple Posy and a layer of this this die on, you know, some white and cut that. So it's very simple. And um, I wonder why my computer's doing, my computer is sounding like it's not happy. Let me, let me scoot over here. Um, my computer is, um, Microsoft updated my software. And um, if you are having trouble uh, accessing any of my tutorials, if, you're, if you um, are ever doing that, um, if you are having any trouble, um, make sure that you let me know because, um, my, uh, my, um, yeah, my, my Microsoft drive is, um, yeah, they're, they've just screwed around with it. I can't even get it open now. And so <laughs> I'm having a hard time with it. So hopefully you aren't. Seems to be working fine, but from the online, it's just on my computer. Online, it's fine. Computer, not so much. All right, so today we are going to just enjoy some fun, fun time. So all we're doing, just starting with our basic uh, four, and a half, uh, four and a quarter by 11 inch card, just, um, y you know, uh, scored at five and a half, and... And then I guess all I need to do is cut out that little that little die. So I am going to put the camera up and bring my big shot over for you to see. I think it's um, today is a day I just feel like everything will go wrong if I do anything with that camera. Today is just one of those days. It's been a good day. I think everything has gone very smoothly other than the fact that we had another ant attack in the bathroom. The ants have been just nuts they are coming in in places they've never come in before and for some reason they've decided our bathroom is their favorite place this year so um that has been very annoying to me and um so anyhow all we need to do is take this card and place our die on the side that we want it on it's going to overlap a little bit but that's okay it's not going to not going to be a problem. I kind of don't want it to... Oops, I got to see which side's cutting. One side stays attached and one side cuts. So you want to make sure your cutting edge, where you can see that that line, is on the outside. Otherwise, we'll have it disconnected and then I'm not going to... I'd have to start all over again. So I'll just stick it up here a little ways. 
and my plates are pretty crazed. I understand that, but they are still working good for me, so I am not too concerned about that. I was going to bring it back through again, but I, I probably don't need to. It's been popping out really easily, so I think it'll be fine. And I probably don't need this <clears throat> machine anymore, so let's get it out of the way. I think I have everything already cut out that I'm going to use. I think that's the only thing I, I needed to cut out. All right, so we'll move, we'll move us back again when we're a little closer. And if I cough, I'm going <laughs> to, I hope I don't cough into the phone. Um, <clears throat> I do have a, it just, I, it doesn't, I don't talk a lot generally, so I don't notice it until I'm doing stuff like this and then I'm suddenly coughing. That's probably why Jeff talks. He talks so much more than I do. That's probably why he's coughing more. I never really thought about it, but I bet you that's it because he just talks a lot more. So anyway, when I'm talking, I'm coughing too. All right, so that I'm going to slide back in there. So the, again, these are our ornate ones. They are the ones that if you wanted them and you are not a demonstrator, and I'm saying that for benefit of anybody who's watching that isn't, you never know. Um, I'm not sure, so I, I never really do know. So just to be sure that you know you can get them, but you would have to join um, our team or someone else's team. You would have to join, the get the starter kit, this is the time to do it. You get the starter kit. It is $99 for $129 worth of stuff. And then on top of that, you get a free stamp set. You get a 50% off stamp set. You get a free little mini cutter. You get paper, uh, free shipping, and you get the benefits of being on um, a team where you get all kinds of really great ideas and fun, fun, fun. So that's that edge. Isn't that pretty? I love that. All right, and then we're gonna just take a little piece of purple posy, and I'm gonna trim it to fit in there, because I just need it to be, oh, just a little bit. I don't, I'm not even measuring it. I'm just sort of eyeballing it. I'm doing it a little on the large side. Now this is our little mini trimmer that you would get if you, if you joy, so joy. It's cute and handy. And then I can just slide that in there, and then I'll just cut off the edge. Now, when you cut anything, I've noticed with all of our cutters, I never really noticed it when I wasn't using dies all the time. When I was, uh, before I invested in dies, because I've been a, a, a card stamper for a very long time, <clears throat> and I resisted the dies for a very long, long time because they're very expensive, you know? And I was buying a lot of stamps. Well, finally, I got to the point of stamp overload anyway, so I went to a variety of things to see if I could find like the, you know, the cutting machines and all. I didn't like what they came out with. I Every time I used those, they weren't as good as the dies. So I finally went with the dies. Well, after having used the dies for about a year, I realized that even when I use my um, cutting board, any cutting board, the direction your blade goes down really does kind of make a nice little beveled edge on the edge of your card. So that part that's beveled going down is the side you're going to want to have as the side up. It just is a more finished edge. And um, until I had the dies, I really wasn't aware of that. All right, so I managed to fold that slightly off. So I'll fix that, and still it's off a tiny bit, but that's okay. I'm going to just live with that. It's, it's life. It's life. All right, so I'm going to just trim that. All right, it's good to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing, and you can hear. Awesome. That is fantastic. Now I'm going to, I think I'm, I think my messages are, Ah, Marty, you are here. Awesome. Thank you, Marty, for joining us. I hope your arm is doing better. Um, there's, I've got a lot of friends right now who are having arm issues. <laughs> I don't know if this is the season for it. It's like one thing. They always say things come in a group of three, right? Well, that is not good news, so don't say that. <laughs> that's not good news. 
All right. Now I'm going to take, this is, again, um, in case you're just joining us, this is that Ornate Borders. Um, I just already cut this out of Whisper White. I did that last night. Cut a whole bunch of, you know, little labels and all kinds of things from Whisper White just so that I'd have them handy. I've kind of depleted my supply a little bit. And I just want to put a nice edge. Now this is going to be too close here. I've taken the the guard off of this so that I can hold it near but I'm this is gonna be too close I'm gonna I'm gonna be scared about that so I am not using that I will get out my big big cutter um, because I know myself really well and also this this holds it down quite well I want to get it pretty close to this so I I can put even if I've even if I've taken my um, like like this is not a straight edge on the edge and even if I trim it you know if I trim it I'm still not going to get a straight edge if I stuck it on there it still would probably be slightly crooked and since I want it really close to here to lay on my paper I am going to just line up my points not with that line because that would be too too close but I'm going to line up my points right along one of those edges and then Lay that down and hold it, and then it should cut a pretty, pretty straight line. Now it might not be perfect, but it's gonna, gonna be good enough. Cause I see it's not perfect, but you know, it never is perfect when you're doing this as a, a, a live thing. It just never is. So I'm just learning to, to live with it, and then that way I can have a nice little edge on the inside of my card. Um, whoever gets it now. I cut it on the wrong side. I just did <laughs> talked about, you know, the beveled edge and all that. Well, I just did it on the wrong side, but that's okay. We're gonna cut. We're gonna just go ahead with it. I went down to the grocery store, got my almond milk. They've been having a hard time, even without all of these issues that we've been having. Um, they were having a hard time keeping up with. The, suddenly, I wasn't the only one in the Tri-Cities, I guess, getting almond milk, because I think I must have been the only one for about, I don't know, six months, seven months, eight months, maybe. It was a long time. I discovered it while I was dieting, and, um, well, I didn't discover it. My sister, or my daughter-in-law told me about it, and um, that was so sweet of her. That was, made it, that was a game changer for me. And, um, and then suddenly I, a whole bunch of other people, I guess, discovered it or some other almond milk hog moved into the area. I don't know, but they were having a hard time. I'm glad that that, that they got it figured out before all of the hysteria hit because I went down there to get my, my weekly almond milk supply and it was fine just as much as there normally is. So now we can use our stamp set which is that Easter promise. Where are you? There you are. And um, very easy. Now it has a very nice cross. Um, that one I'll probably use. I've used it once. Uh, and we're not gonna use these sentiments today just because I don't wanna make this an Easter card. It could be, but I wanted Smile Beautiful. I've, I've got a bunch of Easter cards I just made, so I don't really need this one to be an Easter card. And, um, and I really wanted something springy and cheery and happy today. This is a day um, we want some cheer. Okay, so um, Marty, I'm sorry your therapy is not helping. It's uh, hopefully, oh, to the spine doctor. Oh, dear. So this is not just your arm. And, um, you know, it seems like physical therapy needs to help immediately, right? And I'm always a little concerned when it isn't because the times where it has worked well for me, it does work pretty quickly. And, um, and it might hurt, you know, a lot for a couple of weeks, but after the couple of weeks, you've seen improvement and, um, and when you don't see that improvement, you know what they're doing is not really affecting the spot that's bad, right? I, I don't know. At least that's what I always think. I'm not a doctor, a medical professional. I do not know anything about it. It's just the little bit I've had to do with it is what... <clears throat> 
I've thought about physical therapy. It's really useful when they have identified the exact muscles and, and uh, you know, areas that need uh, stretching and, and strengthening. But if they're not exactly sure, sometimes finding out the spot is... It's just a hard process to go through because you want to feel better. You want to have movement and um, and it feels like other parts of your body are starting to suffer, you know, when it's not happening, when that's not healing up. Other parts that are compensating for it are starting to act up. So, you know, I am going to just say a prayer for you. And I, I am, today is the day I decided I am going to also just say a prayer for all of our poor mothers who are home all over the United States with their kids. <laughs> I mean, I'm really, this is, uh, it's, a, it's hard enough to go through life anyway. And then these things come along and, and they think, well, I was already kind of having a hard time. And, and now, um, now I'm really having a hard time. So anyhow, I am going to do that. Um, now I need to get my markers out because earlier when I made this card, I used my blending pens and they were a little bit on the fat side. So I'm gonna get out my, that's garden green, which would work, but I really want Call Me Clover. I like that one a little bit better. So we're gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna use uh, Mango Melody. I think that's what this is. Yes, Mango Melody. And I'm using, this is Purple Posy cardstock. So I've got the Purple Posy ones and I've got the Highland Heather ones and the uh, uh, Call Me, or yeah, Mango Mel Melody. I, I want the dark one. I need this, I, I wanted something bright yellow, but, um, my, uh, the, the pineapple punch just, it wasn't strong enough. It just, it didn't leap out enough. And I need, I need these to stand out, you know, in your crocus. This is the part that really makes those colors pop, I think, is those, um, those bright yellow centers. Does anyone have, you ever eaten any of the saffron from the saffron, um, crocus, those little fall purple crocus, they're called saffron, right? I don't know, but anyway, the, the, we get saffron from the little stamen in those crocus. And if you go to the grocery store and try to buy, um, I think I'm trying to find dark purple posy. There we go. If you, um, try to buy saffron, you're going to spend a fortune for teeny tiny golden threads. And I've, I've, eyeballed those in the store. I mean, I like, you make risotto, 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 risotto. <laughs> I do not speak French. I mean, not French. I mean, uh, Italian. Um, anyway, you, you, uh, chef experts, you would know what I'm talking about. And, um, I've had it. It's delicious, but looking at the cost of saffron has made me think, eh, I don't need it. It's fine. I'm I'm fine with a plain old noodle with some Alfredo sauce and um, well, let's do one of the big ones here and some Parmesan or <laughs> ordinary ordinary cheese. All right, now the light purple posy. Now I've noticed for me my light purple posy isn't quite a match. Now this. Purple Posy has just been a plague of problems for Stampin' Up, you know. I feel very sorry for them and for me because um, that's one of the things that I like to tell people how wonderful Stampin' Up products are compared to other products um, is the color coordination. The color coordination between the inks and the cardstock and the ribbon and the embellishments uh, and the threads and all, and we're talking all the inks, these blending pens, the markers, the ink pads, uh, is a huge selling point for me and probably for anybody else who, who's a big color fiend. I, I'm, I'm very in tune to colors and, um, 
Anyway, so this purple posy is just not been what it should have been. I've never seen Stampin' Up! have such a hard time with an ink before. It was very, very odd that we had to wait for so long and that the manufacturers could never get it really right because obviously they wouldn't be manufacturers if they didn't know a little something about it. And... Uh, and if if we didn't have a company that had such a rigorous process, uh, we wouldn't have even known, you know. Uh, I would have gotten my Purple Posy, would have used it, and then, you know, six months later realized the color is not matching. You know, what's with that? And we wouldn't have even known until it was really too, quite too late. All right, so now Dark he Highland Heather. I want this color but um, I kind of want it all over the whole, I want one that's really, really dark. I love those dark purple crocus. They're my favorite. I do have some yellow. We're going to put some yellow down there. I, I um, kind of wanted a yellow one up here too, but I decided, ah, eh, yellow really pops out. So let's, let's stick with the purple. So I will be glad to see Purple Posy go. It's it's actually been a color I've loved. But as much trouble as it's been, I'm going to be really glad to, to say adios, Purple Posy. Goodbye. I will not miss you. All right. So dark Highland Heather and light Highland Heather. There we go. Oh, good. Freddie, you've joined us. Thank you, Freddie. Hope you're... Hope you're able to sleep. This is the hardest thing, I think, about being sick or having a, an injury is particularly difficult. Um, Jeff's not sleeping well at all because he's got that cough. My goodness. And he won't, he really is diligent about not wanting to interrupt my sleep. And that's mostly because I'm so crabby. <laughs> <laughs> when I lose sleep. It's, I think he's a good guy, but it's more about <laughs> just trying to keep keep peace in the household. So um, he does not sleep in our room when he's got a cough. And um, so he doesn't sleep very well because he's not in our room either, you know. It's not very comfortable on the futon or in his desk chair. Um, a while ago, I uh, got... Uh, chairs with removable uh, cushions. That was when our kids were still here and I wanted cushions I could take off and just throw away and get new cushions. Well, I've never replaced those chairs with nice reclining chairs. We used to have some, but they got trashed with the kids, of course. I'll blame it on them. It wasn't all of them, but I'll blame it on them. And um, uh, anyhow, Jeff said, do not get us recliners. Oh, I forgot. Whew, that was close. Never color on it with it closed. <laughs> Always open it. I'm so glad that didn't go through because it could have. I've had that happen before. And um, he said, do not get us recliners because what's going to happen is we are going to just fall asleep every night in the recliner watching TV. So he doesn't have a nice recliner to sleep in. If he did, he'd probably be sleeping much better right now in that in a recliner. All right, so there's our few yellow ones just to make sure we've got a little bit of brightness there. So Freddie, we are using some of the ornate frame stuff. So that's what you're seeing on the side here is this, um, is uh, let me get it out again and look. This is the ornate, yeah, ornate borders. And there's and then we and then we used one of the ornate borders for the for the inside little rail on that card and then uh, these are the ornate layers which I am using um, for this little frame okay and it also has a little stitched rectangle but this is a stitched rectangle from the stitched rectangle set it's not in that set all right so here's our uh, Call me Clover. Let's do this. And you know what? I really like the blending pen so much better. But where it gets skinny, I'm going to have to... It's a lighter color for one thing because this is the light one. But even the dark one's a little lighter. Now this will be under my label. It's down here that's going to 
get tricky. So let's just do some and then go on because this card is about done. We're going to be, we're going on to another, actually getting to another one today, amazingly. Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> Freddie, it's a man thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what Jeff's going to do at home all this time. He is going to go nuts. He, right now he's sick, so he's going to be taking a lot of naps, but that's going to wear off. And we are going to go see our kids in Boise, unless, of course, if he's still coughing, uh, uh, he has a cold, okay? It's just a cold. But um, if he's still coughing, I don't want to go down there. They'll be scared, and I don't want to pass it on to their kids and... Um, so, I don't know. I think we're going, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now, I've already cut out these parts, so here's the little stitched ring rectangle. That's going here. Now, the thing I really like about all of these little ornate frames is that you really don't need a ribbon. It's so, um, uh, you know, it's so flowery without the ribbon. You can put a ribbon on it, but you don't need it. And I don't want to do this as an Easter card. I have a whole bunch. So the other card we're going to do is using this Wish For It All set. And it has this Smile Beautiful on it. So you can see I've already got some candles all cut out. Um, this is a fun little set. I really bought this set mainly for the candles in the crown. <laughs> I really wanted to use that crown. And I, it's cute. I like it. It's very fun. And um, I do like the little smile beautiful, too. It's, it's a good stamp. So let's see if we can stick it on. Oops, be helpful if I did it the right direction. Maybe I better get one I can actually line up. That'd probably be helpful. And then we'll just use Highland Heather. It's a little bit darker. And put that on my... Now, normally I would stamp it and then cut out the to crop out this rectangle piece, but I'm gonna stand so I can get right over it. Okay. And then we will just put a little bit of glue on there and stick that on. Okay, and then I wanna use um, the little gold, the designer elements, the gold one right there. Very cute. I love those. It has a little, it's like a little flower. And just grab a couple of dimensionals and stick those on the back. And this card is done, other than the inside. Okay, so your husband, Marty, has been sleeping in his recliner, too. Uh-oh, he's sick and coughing also. It's scary for people. I feel sorry for them. That's why I feel like I don't want you to go out in public. I, Jeff said um, yesterday when um, normally we would have had church. Of course, we did have church, but it was online like everybody else probably did. And, um, and that was nice of our, our minister to do. And he did a great job, and it was wonderful. But we didn't normally we go out to yogurt afterwards. And, and we didn't. And um, so later in the day, Jeff said, do you think the yogurt shop is open? And, and we went. But I told him, if you start coughing, we're going, we're leaving. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing that. He, he did pretty good, actually. Okay, so for the Wish For It All one, I really wanted to use, this is the last of my sample Bonanza Buddies paper. Um, I am gonna, I thought I bought Bonanza Buddies paper and I didn't. I'm like a dope. I, I really like it for this. This is probably the sheet that I like the most. So, anyway, I am using the last. So I was actually gonna make a couple of cards here, but, uh, you know, not, that one's not happening because I don't have enough. This is my last two sheets and I want to do this. So... We are gonna we're gonna just move you up here and let me get rid of these pens because we actually just don't even need them. Okay, get rid of a little bit of trash. And so this is a label that I cut from the die that comes with this set. There it is. And um, and it has this cute little um cone 
you know, yeah, you could do a bunch of things with this cone. Now, I, the other reason I got this set was because I wanted a doily I could cut out. I have a bunch of doilies, but I find that as soon as I buy a bunch, the colors um, are discontinued and I need different colored doilies. So, um, I was thrilled when they put out Deer Doily a year or two ago. I love Deer Doily. That's great. But then, of course, that was right at the time we were changing things with the uh, dye company. And Deer Doily was retired. I was so mad. So when this doily came out, I was really thrilled because it's actually a better size anyway. This is the size doily I need. So I'm very happy about that. But we are not using that doily. We are using the outer part to cut out the little, uh, in this case, this is an ice cream cone. Now you might already have an ice cream set and you don't need another ice cream cone because we've had several of those. But um, I'm gonna just whip this over to the side here and run it through um, the, uh, the it, it's pretty cute. Um, it has like a little, stitched edge, kind of, on the side. Um, oops. I actually, in my haste, missed a part, but that's okay. It's scalloped, not stitched. There's a little scalloped edge. And this side almost makes it look like it has sprinkles, so I thought, well, we'll use that. And, uh-oh. Freddy, you too, you have also not been sleeping. Well, yeah, I'm surprised you guys are anybody with me today right now. Today is a day that it's like seems so strange, you know. There's just so many strange things. And so I was fully prepared to be here all by myself. Now I cut this out about two and a half, and I think I want it a little skinnier because I want to fit in my um, little cake. So let's do like two and a quarter and see if that's... The right so even that a little bit fat so we'll go on down to two inches and then we can stick that on there I'm gonna stick that on right now so that I make sure I get my cake in the right spot otherwise I'm afraid I will um, totally screw that up all right I feel like I've got a big mess going here let's Let's do some things differently. So I, we're done with this. So we'll put this together over here. Oh, Freddie, you came in a little bit late. Did you hear that you won the won my drawing this morning? Congratulations. And um, I'll have to find something to send to you. All right. So I do need to cut this out of some Calypso Coral, but that's really all I need to do, just that. So let me run that through. And I think I am gonna just, I'm gonna let you see me run it through because I want you to see how easily this one goes out. Um, every time I ever get a die, I'm never really sure how easy it's going to release. They cut generally pretty well, most of them do. It's the release that's Sketchy. And for me, whether a die is going to be useful or not is all about its release. <laughs> I have no patience. Did you catch on to that? I have zero patience. <laughs> I'm trashing everything underneath, but that's okay. All right. Oh, I said that, Freddie, I said that you, um, you won our drawing this morning when I did it when I was first on I did a did our weekly drawing from last week and you won congratulations all right I, I don't really need to run it through again but I just need to be able to take it out on this side because I've got so much junk all over my desk I couldn't get it out the other way and bring this over here so you can see trying to prevent some mess from happening that there. So you can see how quick that pops out. Pretty good deal. Now I don't run it through too terribly well actually because 
I want to have some places to glue. <laughs> Sometimes if everything pops out really super good, um, like I, I don't have any space to glue. So some of these that are sticking, like just a couple of holes there, I don't really care. And I'm glad this part doesn't come out. This gives you a really good spot to stick it on your card, um, if, if nothing else. So, all right, we'll put that there. Get this out of the way. See what I did underneath. Looks like everything survived my rolling well enough. And we are going to stamp. Let's see. I wonder what color I used. I bet you I used Calypso Coral. But I might have actually used Grapefruit Grove. Um, I, Grapefruit Grove is like Calypso Coral. It's just lighter. A little lighter. Uh, let me look here. Find my... Did I get it out? No, I didn't get it out. Dirty Flamingo, not you. Calypso Coral. Okay, now, Calypso Coral, you have not got an ink... Rep uh, we don't have an inker for you. I thought I had an inker for you, and I went and hunted, and I didn't. And when I tried stamping you out earlier, you weren't stamping all that well. So I'm not even going to try you. I think we're going to just stick with Grapefruit Grove. But quickly, just to make sure that I don't totally make a terrible mistake in doing it, I am going to test you and just see what's what. So here's our little cake. It's cute. But you do want to make it nice and juicy because it is, it's got that cute little doily all over it. So we'll, let's let's do with the one I'm skeptical about, Calypso Coral. We'll try that one first. At least this is, uh, you're welcome, Freddie. I see, I see your comment over there. Oh, Trudy, this set is on your list. I hope you, I hope you get it. You're gonna really like it. Um, you wanna look and make sure it has really inked up. Okay, now that's looking pretty good. This is my Calypso Coral. Maybe it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now let's try my let's try my grapefruit grove. Aha. Uh -huh. See what I mean? So uh, actually grapefruit grove's a little brighter than I probably want, but I think my calypso coral just needs some more ink and it's um, it's going to have to be on that list, that never-ending list of I, what I must have that I thought I had in my last order and apparently forgot to order again. So, oh, I don't want to put that away because you're going to go on the card. So we just want to... Uh, oh, I forgot. I need to glue this down. So let's glue it down, always making sure that your, <laughs> your strings are going down on your balloons and not up. Um... Uh, that's I exact. Well, how many times have you ripped off a piece of paper that doesn't rip off nicely because it went on upside down and it was because of something like balloon strings going up instead of down all right there we go so we'll just I'll cut that off here in a moment but I want to get my cake on here make sure it's gonna fit yes it fits excellent Okay, so it's going to be a little brighter orange. But I, I'm okay with that. It's fine. But I think I prefer the other color, but um, I wanted to make sure it got a good impression on that. And you can take your pens and color some orange, or, you know, some yellow in there. That wouldn't, that wouldn't hurt a bit. You could even do the, you know, those if you wanted to. You don't have to. It's pretty cute even without doing that. I didn't do it on the other one. And I do want my sentiment to match that color. So let's do that while I have this out. And we're doing the wish for it all. This is another reason I really like this set. It's because of that wish for it all. And I did trim around the words quite a bit because when I stamped it out the first time, I got all that rubber edging all over my sentiment. So when you 
get a stamp where you're getting a lot of the edge, you know, you can cut your rubber away. Let me quickly tell you one thing I do is I have a pair of designated scissors for such things because they get all gummy for one thing. Even though I clean them occasionally, they tend to be gummy. These are kind of large. You might want to use snips when you're get the, to get to such small, you know, stuff as this. Um, when you are doing words and you're going to end up with a skinny strip or anywhere, like even uh, sometimes the landscape things, if you've got a leaf and you have to cut around it to make sure you're not getting any of that edged rubber into your impression, uh, you want to try to not cut so much of this foam and more of this colored rubber part. So if you turn your scissors and even just kind of pinch you can pinch this apart a little bit and it'll go right back and then you can get pretty close to your words and especially if you need to do do it like really close like if I was really concerned about this I could get my little snips and just snip 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 but you do want to be careful I have many times well not many times probably only two times but not just once two <laughs> ruined uh, sentiment from doing that. But if you can cut your colored rubber rather than the foam so much, that way you have still plenty of, uh, of an edge to have a nice surface to give your impression when you're pushing down. If you, if you, if you snip it at an angle, like it's tempting to be looking and always look on it from this side before you doctor your stamps, never doctor from this side, only from this side. But, um, Turn your scissors more like this, not like this. Because if you turn them like this, you're going to be cutting that foam more. All right, you probably know all of that, but just in case you've never thought about it. All right, we're going to try to try to get that. Now, it's a kind of a curved stamp, which is going to be somewhat forgiving, but since I've already cut my... Normally, again, I would stamp first and then cut... I've already cut this label, so I kind of want the whole F on the word for to be in there. We'll see what we end up with. Not bad, not bad. I could have probably even curved it a little bit more if I'd wanted to, but that's okay. My voice sounds so low, I'd be a good tenor right now. All right, we're almost done. Got our little cone. All ready to go. Oops, let's trim this. Okay. That was the gummy scissors, so of course they stick into everything. All right, ruined my little cone a little bit, so we want to make sure that is the bottom. And then the little filigree part. We're going to just stick right there, and we're going to put our little wish for it all right there, and this card is finished. Cute, huh? All right, so to do this part, all I need is just a couple of dimensionals. That's pretty easy to stick on the back here. I want to put I put a good amount down here because my, my cone is going to be on this. It's going to be glued there and that's going to be helping to support my cone because my cone is only going to be it's only somewhat attached you know I'm only got a little bit of a dimensional here and then I'm gluing it to that uh, cone so there's not well that's the one bad thing about these lacy doily type things is that it's they're hard to adhere to something because there's not a lot of a lot of hiding place to hide your dimensional Okay, I want to get my cone angled right like that. Okay, let's stick you on there. And then we'll just put on the glue. And I, so I'm just gluing this because obviously there's one level of dimensional here. And then I'll just use a little mini dimensional. If I can get you off on this little bottom part good doesn't show I don't think I did a piece in there sometimes I snip little tiny pieces but uh, I, I didn't feel like it 
thought this is going to be fine. This will hold, should hold together quite well. And um, I don't know about you, but I have a real hard time with that fine tip glue, so I don't even bother using it anymore. I just, I just do what I can with this and make it work. I, I think Freddie said she's she uh, wipes this with a sponge and wipes it on. That's a really good plan. I just. I haven't actually done it that way, but it sounds like a good good idea. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. I appreciate that. All right, then all you have to do is just stick your little cone on it. Some ice cream can over can be flowing out. That's how I like an ice cream cone. I like the ice cream to be so much that it's coming out of the cone. And I could call this a little, you could call this a mango pineapple. Actually, it looks like orange sherbet. Little sparkles on it. Sprinkles on it. Sprinkles. And dimensionals. I guess I can use my minis. I'll just stick those on there. Oh, I've got this long edge piece. That'll, that'll do. That'll stick on there really nicely. That sucker won't be going anywhere. All right, so you guys, we are almost finished. Uh, I don't have a whole lot more to go on celebration. Michelle's got somebody else. That was nice of her to do that. Um, that, nice to always see somebody new on the team. So we're welcoming Ginny. She's a sweetie. And we're going to put wish for it all right here. Don't, don't be stingy with yourself. <laughs> wish for it all. <laughs> Perfect birthday, birthday card, huh? So get those people to join you. This is the time. Okay, put a piece of balloon paper behind it and hide the dimensionals. Oh, yeah. Didn't think of that, Freddie. That would have been a smart idea. And I actually might have had barely, <laughs> might have had barely enough to do that with, even with my scrap. But um, I wouldn't have thought of that. Very good. You could have, I could have done that just right there. All these ideas you have. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. So I think we are done. And my phone is working. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I'm surprised. <laughs> Seems like it's been acting up. Everything's acting up. All right, you guys. Have a great day. I appreciate your watching me do these card things. I hope that you were inspired with some good ideas. I had a whole movie list. I was going to talk about all my favorite Cary Grant movies. <laughs> I'll have to do that another day. Um, yeah, to my voice is just I didn't know if it was even gonna last so I'm glad it did and um, um, I think everything's going okay so next week uh, I probably will do full of of happiness that cute chick in fact here's I, I, it's a toss-up because um, I've been doing doing stuff with the make a splash the little fish in the fishbowl but these ch this chick is too cute. <laughs> I can't get away from him. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, but maybe I'll be tired of Easter already by next week. We'll see. <laughs> I'll be on to something else. Thanks again for watching, you guys. And you have a wonderful week. Um, I am just praying really quick for all of us. Lord God, thank you so much for the time with our friends. Uh, thank you for the gift of, of cra crafting and all that stuff. Um, please bless our nation. Bless our families, um, protect us from illness and uh, just the wackiness of life. Help us to be positive and to know you're in charge and that you are our physician and you're our healer. And we just ask you to heal us, God, from all of the things that are plaguing us right now. And I'm especially praying for those moms at home with their kids. In Jesus' name, amen. Those moms at home with their kids. Ah, I can't imagine. <laughs> all right, you guys. We'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.